Yes, and just like that, I'm headed out to substitute teach where I used to teach at my old school district. So excited. First day, um, called me this morning and I'm running, running, running. So... right in the middle of it didn't we mm -hmm. so anyway but we both earned it and um, yeah, super he, happy that I got to he got uh, to go to your graduation <laughs> yeah he got to go to my graduation both my boys both our boys anyway so we are um, so Billy rescued me yesterday because I was completely unprepared and he rescued me with a diet dr. pepper in the classroom so that was wonderful because he still works for the district. So anyway, but it, that was really fun to see him. It felt like old times, even though it wasn't my classroom, it just felt like being on my campus again. So it was wonderful. Um, anyway, uh, we have a lot to do today. We've been saying lots and lots of prayers for people that we know that have been ill and they seem to be working. So we're really, happy about that huh hun? So we'll keep it up and we'll keep it up so you guys can keep it you know everybody in your prayers about staying healthy so happy to see everybody glad everybody's coming along and we've got a busy day on the lazy sage ranch so anyway we'll see you in a little bit so quiet wow it's quieter than billy that's pretty quiet that's pretty quiet hey guys we took a little break while we were doing our little bit of shopping here and you can see the beautiful mountain range. We have something really special coming up next weekend which we're going to share um, about our area. But we're taking a little walk here and just showing you some of the beauty where we live. And Mount Whitney, the highest peak in the continental U.S. Continental U.S. is right behind us. And it's so gorgeous. So anyway, so we're doing a little bit of back roads here today. So we'll show you guys some more. Glad you're here with us, by the way. And we hope you're all doing well.
Osage pie tonight. It's an Osage orange. We're picking up a few. Makes a pretty tree. Makes a beautiful tree. Here's some big ones. Those are beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. So should we get these at this wonderful new store? Yes. Wonderful new store. This is great. Um, I don't know if I want the pansies. I am so glad these guys came down here to our area. We normally have to drive all the way to Bishop to get some goods. So it's nice to have them here. Here, I'm going to Right here. So great. Such a wonderful store. Oh, sorry. I'll take, I'll, I'll edit you out. You don't want to be in there. I promise. <laughs> no, that's fine. I know a lot of people don't like to be on camera. Ours is really sweet and just everyday stuff that we do, so. Because there's the horse. I don't know if we want to go in that black hole. <laughs> oh. We have all of our hiking stuff with us. Dope. delicious meal tonight it is super easy I've been making it for decades my family loves it it's simple ingredients but with a lot of great flavor Billy and I had a great day today and he wrote me into this he wrote me into this and this is a plan I got the rope <laughs> he wrote me into this I don't see your face honey get down here he did he wrote me into this so we are going to have a delicious meal tonight <laughs> And you guys hang on, we'll be right back. So here's the ingredients, it's pretty simple. It's uh, white onions, heirloom tomatoes, which I normally use Roma, but I had the heirlooms and they're beautiful. Some garlic, uh, red pepper, and I put a little extra dried uh, basil in there, along with my fresh basil from my um, drawer boxes that Billy made me. And I, we have some pork, Italian sausage, and some olive oil, and there'll be a couple extra things added in a few minutes. So I'm going to get frying this, and we'll assemble what else we need to assemble. Here we go. So I'm cooking up the pork Italian sausage. Now, they do make vegan Italian sausage. That's just a lot of vegetables with fennel in it which makes that Italian sausage flavor. And this one, um, I know we've done it with chicken as well. So what we're gonna do is just cook this down until the pork doesn't squeak anymore. Seriously, <laughs> it doesn't have a squeaking sound anymore. So we're gonna get this, continue to cook it up in this wonderful garlic and olive oil, and we'll go to the next step. So this is all nice and brown, and then I'm gonna take it out and leave some of the grease. There's not too much grease in this, which I'm really, really impressed. And leave some of the olive oil and the garlic in here. And we're gonna turn up the stove. We'll take most of this out. Then, after we get this finished, pulling this out and leaving the grease in there, 
we're, we are going to add some of the main ingredients. So we're gonna start with the onions first because they need to cook a little bit longer. So we're gonna put those in. Make sure they're getting all coated with that wonderful, wonderful olive oil and Italian sausage. So the onions just cook down just for a few minutes and then I start putting in right into this hot pan the heirloom tomatoes. I don't use um, red onion in this recipe because then it turns it a little bit of a purple color, but I will see how it's going to turn out with these heirlooms. It should be beautiful. So we get those all in here, put them all in, okay, and then I'm going to put the fresh basil leaves on the top. So I'm going to put a little bit whatever else I have in here. And, and then I'll let that cook down for a little bit too. Isn't that beautiful? So now that this is simmered down a little bit, we're gonna add some of this crushed red pepper over the top of this. And a little bit more of the dry basil, not too much, just a little bit more along with my fresh basil. And we're going to add the sausage back in. So the sausage is going to go back in to the pan. We're going to mix that up a little bit. So the tomatoes have cut, have made the, basically the sauce. But here's this, here's one of the ingredients that makes this so delicious. Here you go. It's cream. So we're going to pour a little bit of cream in here to create a sauce. And you can also use almond milk and then add a little bit of cornstarch to it if you don't want the dairy. And so we'll mix that up a little bit and turn the heat up to probably about medium. And then what we're going to do is that creates the sauce. Then I'm going to add some wonderful Parmesan cheese shreds. Put a few of those in here. And then that's going to melt down a little bit. Then I will be ready to pour it over our pasta. One of Billy's favorites and my kids too. There's that sauce. <laughs> we got this delicious meal for tonight, honey. Mm -hmm. One of your favorites. And um, we're gonna have this out on outside tonight so you guys can join us. And um, this, oh, if you can get a close-up, honey, of the pasta in there, can you get that? So that is butternut squash pasta. And um, we're gonna have, that was really a treat to get that. And sometimes we don't make it with pasta. We make it with spaghetti squash. Wow. Really Billy scary. loves spaghetti squash. Anyway, so have dinner with us tonight, you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's pretty simple and very hearty and delicious.